I'm here at High Rock Lake and I'm thinking today I definitely want to try for bass again when the evening bite comes on and I'm going to try a whopper plopper but for now just so that you know I get a video out of this for sure I'm going to, I'm going to do some pan fishing uh, so hopefully we get on something more interesting than just a bunch of bluegill So here's my setup. I just got a simple bobber split shot worm on a hook thing going. And I'm going to see what I can do with it. It's a fairly warm day. But as you can see, the little panfish are biting. Now that one might have just uh, snatched my worm from me there. Yep. That's about as big a piece of worm as you need for pan fish and about as uh, big a hook as you want to have. Catch me a fish. There we go. All right, got one. Nothing too big. Yeah, he's decent. So one of the reasons I wanted to uh, turn the camera on and show you guys some pan fishing today is because the bluegills colors have changed some. I guess they're in their, uh, their midsummer colors, but look at that. All gold and green. Gold. All right, let's let him go. Racket to stop. And I got this hole. There we go. size. So a lot of gold on this one, some green, and a fair amount of some very dark pretty orange there too. Very nice, very nice. It doesn't matter how I put it on there, it doesn't seem like I can keep my mother It's a no wake zone. Yeah. All right, decent size, and of course, he swallowed it. I hate people. All right, that feels more decent. Surf on in. 
No, sir. No. Oh, this is a shell cracker. No wonder you felt good. Come here. Cut it out. You ain't going nowhere. All right. Well, actually, I thought this was a shell cracker, but this is just a nice, fat, sizable pumpkin seed. That is uh, one of the better ones I've ever caught, actually. All those little orange spots along the body there. I'm pretty sure that's where the name pumpkin seed comes from. All right. Always love it when these guys can show up in a video. So pretty. All right, let's let him get back before he gets too tired out here. I'm telling you, he's a fat one. He's got some, some food in this belly here. Oof. It's a stick. All right, guys, well, here's a good reason not to leave your tackle box in a hot Jeep all day while you're working. I don't, I don't think I remember what this is actually, but I think it used to be my Ned rigs. Yeah, they are, uh, they are done. They are no longer useful as baits. Lovely. Ah, bag of catfish bait. Disgusting.